in tears on Friday. <laughs> you haven't been apart oh, that long. Never. You know, we're used to speaking to him all the time, and this is the most difficult part, not just for me, but for the kids. They're used to speaking to Daddy all the time and not even being able to say goodnight to him. And Oh, God, it's killed us. <laughs> no, <laughs> never again. For people who don't watch Big Brother, you were limited to the amount of time you could have. Yeah, so that's yeah, why it was all yeah. quick, quick, quick. It was quick, so quick, rushed, yeah. you know, because uh, I think it was part of a, a shopping sort of yeah. challenge thing, a shopping task. So we were literally on this countdown and they're saying, you know, you're not going to have long, and that's if you do get to speak to him. So I had no idea. I'm like, well, will, will I get to speak to him? Will I not? So then when he came on, that's why I just went... <laughs> <laughs> so did you, did you want him to go in in the first place? I mean, did, how much discussion was there between the two uh, of you? Because, you know, he, he's, he's admitted that he's in there <clears> to change the public perception yeah. of him. As, as we've just said, you know, Darren the love rat, Darren yeah, who was yeah. on drugs and drink. So were you concerned for him or, or were you happy for him to go in and try no, and do that? No, do you know what? I was never concerned because I knew that if the public got to see the real Darren, the Darren that we know, the daddy, the husband, that, you know, they'd take him to their hearts and they have done. Yeah. So it was never a case of being worried or anything like that, but obviously I, w I was nervous about him going in and, you know, when the first walk down that runway and what reaction they might get, that mm. kind of, you know, I, I had them concerns, but... Did you have any concerns? Because as, as Reece said, you know, he's, he's spoken about it often, he's drinking, problems with drink and drugs, and having been in the house a couple of years ago myself, well, last year myself, it is enormously stressful yeah and um, I know for my husband watching me he was just beside himself practically the whole time I was in there do you do you worry about that did you talk about whether he'd be able to no, stay you know sober what? in such a I, difficult I knew place? that he wouldn't sort of touch alcohol or anything because no. he hasn't done for such a long time it was yeah. the cigarettes and I said to him before I went in I said stop stop at a garage go and get 300 cigarettes or whatever no no I'm not gonna smoke I'm not gonna smoke what does he do? First day. <laughs> Give us a family. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He has said uh, several things in there. One of them was he said the other night, he said, I've been off the radar for a very long time. Mm. I haven't worked. I haven't been able to get work. And he said, this is what I'm hoping this is going to do for me. And do you think now, I think we all agree, he has changed the perception of him. Mm. Yeah. And, um, mm. and do you think now? work will come now because they can Absolutely. see the real what's happened to him it, it sort of it already has started coming before really? he went in. yeah he's just done he's just finished doing a film then he's going straight into priscilla queen of the desert great so things show. Are, but i think he needed that period you know to sort of find himself again and it did take that such a long time to get to a point where he was confident enough to think right you know this is who i am I'm away from all that stuff now. I'm, I'm solid. I'm, and do you, you think know, people out there will think that? They'll go, oh, this is Darren Day. We haven't yeah. seen him for a long time. Yeah. This is the yeah. new Darren Day. This, what you're seeing, that is Darren. Yeah. Yeah. He's a very talented you man. I just Sorry. want to say how talented he is because yeah, I remember yeah. him when he was doing impressions. Yeah. He's a great singer. Yeah, I saw him with so Brian Connolly last is. year in a show. Yeah. And, I mean, he is so talented. But do you know what I'm dying to ask you, though? Because I've known Darren over a long period of time. Yeah. Were you worried about taking him on? Um, no, I made it very clear from the moment we got together. I'd got a little boy um, when me and Darren met, um, who was six at the time. Um, so I made it clear that, you know, um, certain things in his lifestyle had to change or we wouldn't, you know, <laughs> go any how further. How did you make him change those? Or how did you encourage him to change those? It weren't me. I think he was just ready. You know, it was his time. Yeah, his it, time you know, to, I don't yeah. think anybody can make well, change. Well, he'd lost no. so much, hadn't he? He must Everything, have been at a rock you know, bottom yeah, when he met absolutely. you. Yeah, absolutely. He'd, he'd, lost, he'd lost so many relationships. He had this enormous... Yeah. It's fantastic career. We were talking mm. about it earlier, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere. yeah. But a very bad reputation. Yeah. yeah and that's did, what had you know, to change. And this is actually, I suppose, one of the best ways of doing it because yeah. every day we see him now. Yeah. Can you just tell me something? All the screaming, and this is the worst Big Brother ever, the screaming and the shouting and the, the oh, horrific yeah. things that are going on there, how does he cope with that? Because I'm sure he isn't confrontational. He seems quite he gentle, not, so... Yeah, yeah, he yeah. is quite and gentle. he will try and be, you know, the peacemaker and bring the house back to a more harmonious place. That is what he would do, you know, if the kids are out or whatever. I'll be the one going, get to bed! <laughs> you know, yeah. and I'm like, come on now, what, what's, what's the matter? And he'll try and sort oh, things really? so okay. how did you? That. What did you think about how he coped with the Tiffany? Tiffany. <clears throat> well, he handled it very graciously. He was like, I'm yeah. very flattered, but what were you thinking at home? I'd be fuming. Oh, <laughs>
be honest with you, I did find that, that one a little bit hysterical. <laughs> Off of the corner of the kitchen and then by the end of it, Darren yes, was at the other yeah. side. <laughs> but the second time, that's when I was like, I was watching it with my 17-year-old Jordan. And that's, at that point, I did want to drag her through that <laughs> telly. <laughs> <laughs> and in the words of my dad, I mean, it were Yorkshire people, you know what I mean? He was like, she's a warm and that tiff. <laughs> <laughs> The after show party will be interesting, <laughs> wouldn't it? Well. Do you think you'll say anything to her? Oh, I don't know. I can't possibly. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she didn't stop there. She didn't stop there, did she? Because then they did that game of Honour with its Truth or Day, or whatever yeah. they called it. Well, that was Where she said, terrible. Have you ever fantasized about no. cheating on your wife? Oh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm, quite... I'm really. Yeah. <laughs> but at that point, I was, like I said, I've been watching them all with my, with my eldest, and I don't think I've ever gone as red in all my life. I was so embarrassed, and he sat there, and I'm like, Oh my yeah. God, I'm watching this with my son, and what a question to ask. And it, oh, that was just awful. But Would you be worried that if he had. Supposing he wins it, right, and he has all this new fine success, so would you be worried that fame would do it to him again, would knock him off the rails? Absolutely not. No. No. Confident. Oh, God, 100%. You better not let me down now. <laughs>